Hi everyone, I'm Julie Schiffman with julieschiffman.com and today we're going to tap for high blood pressure, also known as hypertension. This is one of the leading reasons why people take medications as one out of four Americans suffer with hypertension. That's a lot of people. What people don't realize is that there is a strong underlying emotional component to the way your body is speaking to you with any symptom you have, but especially with high blood pressure. With tapping, we're going to address both the physical aspects of hypertension and also the underlying emotional component of it. So we're actually going to do two rounds of tapping here. So make sure that you stay tuned for both of them. Usually in my videos, I only do one. For this particular one, I'm going to do two different rounds, okay? So you want to pay attention to what the symptoms are that you experience. Are you actually having symptoms that you can feel physically? Or do you happen to know that you're hypertensive because when you go to the doctor's office, you get checked? and they tell you it's a little bit higher or elevated than you want it to be, or maybe than it should be. Um, you can even go ahead, if you're someone who has a cuff at home, you can go ahead and take your blood pressure and do the tapping along with me and then go ahead and take it again. And you very well may likely notice that the, your blood pressure comes down after tapping because tapping um, is very calming, very relaxing, will relax your nervous system and your entire body. So it's, if you wanna just check it out and see, that's a great idea. So as, um, as, as we get ready to begin here, um, we are gonna address the issues generally. And every person has their own circumstances and backgrounds and emotions and symptoms. So it's gonna be super general, but this video is provided to help you to get started to recognize what could possibly be going on and to possibly help you to heal on a pretty deep level, even though it is relatively general. And as always, please remember to take responsibility for your own emotional and physical well-being. This tapping is not a replacement for medication and nor is it suggested that you go off any medication without consulting with your doctor first. I am not a doctor. We're just looking at the underlying emotional stuff to what is contributing to the way your body is speaking to you. So we're going to get started here. Take a big deep breath in. Let it go. Even though I have this hypertension, I love and accept myself. Even though my blood pressure can really get up there sometimes. And maybe I can feel it in my chest, in my head. Maybe I feel heated up. Especially when I'm stressed. I love and accept myself. And I appreciate that my body is speaking to me. I'm listening. Even though my blood pressure has been elevated, whatever that means for me, Maybe I need to take medication to stabilize it. I accept myself and my body. And I'm getting ready to heal. We're going to tap through the points. This hypertension. I have high blood pressure. My blood pressure is typically higher than 130 over 90, as an example. And maybe my doctor tells me that's too high. The pressure in my arteries is elevated. I have high blood pressure. My body is speaking to me with high blood pressure. And I wonder what it's trying to say. It's true that it tends to be higher when I'm stressed. And I get stressed out pretty easily. There's a lot going on in my life and in the world. And it can be so overwhelming. I 
I don't always know how to calm myself down. Maybe it's work-related stress, family or financial stress. It's coming at me from all angles. All this pressure. And maybe it feels like it's all on me all the time. It's too much. This pressure in my chest, in my heart and in my head, I'm letting go. It's okay to just take a breath relax and let go. This is time for me to relax. I'm relaxing all my muscles, my joints, my nervous system. Just getting comfortable in my chair. My body's listening. And my blood pressure is coming down. I can feel my whole body relaxing. As I have compassion for what's going on inside. And there may be a part of me that really is resisting this. A part of me that just wants to move on to something else because I've got a lot to deal with. I'm just noticing how I feel. Allowing myself to relax. Just noticing. My blood pressure is coming down nicely as I relax. My blood is flowing at a nice, normal pace for my heart and my body. And it just feels so good when I take time for me to relax. Just taking a moment. Settling into my body. Listening to my body. Letting go and relaxing. The pressure in my body is lowered as I release and let go. Tap your wrists together and say peace. Take a big deep breath in and let it go. Good job. And just notice how your body feels with this. You're probably feeling more relaxed <clears throat> as you go through this process. And if not, go through and tap with it again. Just allowing your whole body to relax and decompress. And if you notice that something's coming up for you, it's a good idea to go back and tap on that as well. The next tapping sequence we're going to do is going to focus on the emotional aspect. So we did deal with some emotions in the last one, but we're also going to deal with the pressure that you may be carrying in your life and the pressure that you might be carrying in your body. So this could be current stress as you think about something really big that might have happened. It may be, um, it may be it's something a little bit smaller. It, only you know. It's totally up to you. So if you are feeling some sort of pressure or stress in your life, just pay attention to that for a moment and we're gonna go ahead and tap on it. So once again, when you're ready, tapping on the side of the hand. Even though I have all this pressure in my arteries, in my heart, and I've got pressure in my life. I'm really feeling it. I accept myself and I'm open to letting go. 
even though my body's really speaking to me with high blood pressure. And there are times I can really feel this in my body. I accept myself. And I'm allowing it to come down. Even though it's hard for me to love and accept myself with all the pressure that I put on myself or allow others to put on me, I accept myself anyway. And I'm releasing it now. We're going to tap on the points. My body's speaking to me with high blood pressure. This hypertension. And when I feel stressed, I can feel it raise, rising. I have so much going on. Worry and stress. Maybe I need to be stressed. At least I feel like I'm doing something about it by worrying. And if I didn't stress about it, maybe I'd be too relaxed. And I won't be able to fix the problem. Or maybe it feels so out of control that I have to stress about it. in order to control it. But I wonder if that really makes sense for me. How is it really benefiting me to be so stressed out? I just don't know how to control the stress. Sometimes it just feels like I'm in the eye of the storm and I feel that pressure building. I wonder if I can step back from it. Recognizing that my body and my health are more important. And there are just some things that I can't control in my life as much as I'd like to. Why do I have to take it all on myself? If only I could solve this all on my own, then I feel better. Then everything would be okay. But in the process, I'm killing myself here, so to speak. I'm taking on everything. It's too much. All this pressure. And now my body's telling me. It's time to slow down. And let some of it go. Because my health depends on it. I wonder if I can let go. Somehow it all seems to work out, doesn't it? It would be nice if I could control other people's actions. But I know I can't. And their inability to do what I want them to do Is affecting my health. And I don't really want to suffer because of other people's choices anymore. I'm listening to this and letting go. My body's relaxing. 
And maybe it can be okay to relinquish control and let go. Because I'm choosing good health. My heart is flowing with love. My heart is pumping with joy, compassion, love. My body's listening to me. I'm safe. I'm choosing to be healthy. And I'm so grateful for the ability to let go of the past. I'm releasing all the pressure in my life and in my body and in my heart. I'm choosing joy instead. I'm choosing to feel calm and balanced in my body, in my heart, and in my mind. Tap your wrists together and say peace. Good work. See how that feels for you. And take notes on anything that might have come up for you as we were tapping and go ahead and tap on it again if you need to. I suggest tapping multiple times a day on this if this is really something that you struggle with. And again, of course, reach out to a doctor uh, if needed or a tapping practitioner as well. <sighs> Wishing you peace. Keep tapping.